Let's write an equation of the line that goes through this point and is perpendicular to the graph of this linear equation in two variables. So first of all, to find the slope of the line that we're looking for, we're given perpendicular to this graph. Let's find the slope of the graph of this equation. Many ways of finding the slope. I'll find the slope by solving this equation for y. Now since I'm solving for y, I think I'll add y to both sides. If I take this equation and add y to the left side, I have 3x is equal to, if I add y to the right side, 4 plus y, and now I'll subtract 4 from both sides, I'll have 3x minus 4 is equal to y. Once we've solved for y, don't forget the coefficient of x is the slope. Now the slope of this line is 3, but I don't want a line parallel to that line. If I did, I'd use a slope of 3. I want a line perpendicular, so I'll use a slope that's the negative reciprocal of this slope. That would be the negative reciprocal negative one-third. Any line with a slope of negative one-third will be perpendicular to the graph of this line. All right, so keep that in mind. There's my slope. I'll use a slope of negative one-third. I'll use the fact that we're given this point, and now let's write an equation of this line. Since I have slope and a point, I'll use the point-slope form. So that's y minus the y value is equal to negative one-third times x minus the x value. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 because I think most of you are in the habit of doing that. So that's 3 times the left side. And then 3 times this, the 3's cancel or divide out, and I'll have negative 1 times x plus 1. So that's 3y minus 6 is equal to negative x minus 1. Now remember, we don't want to write this in standard form. We want to write this using function notation. That means we want to solve this equation for y. To solve it for y, I'll first add 6 to the left side, and I'll add 6 to the right side. So I'll have negative x minus 1 plus 6. That's plus 5. How do I finish solving for y? I'll divide both sides of the equation by 3. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and divide every single term by 3. So I'll have y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 5 thirds. And if I want to use function notation instead of y, I'll simply write f of x is equal to negative 1 third x and that's plus 5 thirds. So here it is, function notation. It's the same thing here, but instead of y, I used f of x.